Okay, here are your two uh, cable connectors. These go straight to the back of the units, right here. And right here, they're 10 pin connectors. You can see the areas on the units are marked in blue. Then you got your wiring harness over here with the AV cables. You'll see the one is the master and one's the slave. You'll know that the master, which one it is, because as you notice, there's no outputs on the slave. See, there's no male connectors. There's just the female connectors. So the female connector one is your slave one. That's going to the unit that does not have the DVD player. And the one with the DVD player will be your master one that has the outputs. And then for demonstration purposes, I'm using a power supply for right now. And then later on, I'll show you um, how it kind of looks in a truck. So we'll plug this into here. As I'll show you later, just gotta line up the pins. As you can see, it's a 10 pin connector. Typically, it's gonna go in this downward pattern for the slave. And then for the master, it'll go the same way. It should just slide right in. When connecting the wire harness to the cable that you just connected, Make sure you line up that top little slot right there with the empty hole in the other one. Then you want to take the two red cables and then connect them together like so. Hit it with a touch of solder and then just wrap it up with electrical tape. Once you've got that done, Move on to connecting these. You're going to do you're going to do these outputs to the inputs here, and then make sure the yellow from the output is going to the video one source V1 on the sleeve. Once you've connected the three cables here. You'll notice that the master wire will have a whole nother set of cables that you can attach to like another DVD player. And the same thing with the slave. The slave, this would be video two. And for the master, it'd be the same. And then to change, to find the different video you're on, you hit this button right here. And see, the screens are mimicking each other. Volume controls are the arrows. Power button on the master unit will change the different modes between like HDMI, AV1, AV2, stuff like that. And you got your forward and your skip buttons. And then your eject. And then on this unit, you can see it has the AV1 and AV2 switch button. And then this right here changes the aspect ratio for zooming and stuff. Now, while getting started, unscrew the harness. Get two bolts, one on each side. And just lift. You got your piece right here. Okay, now you're ready to mount. Clip around the headrest, you screw in the two bolts again. Make sure they're as tight as you can get them with your fingers. Do not use any tools. Now locate your wiring harness, part one, it's right here. You can see the multi-pin connector. You need to be careful when connecting this. Do it gently as you can bend the pins very easily. Now 
Now you're going to connect it to the back of your unit. Now take this next harness, which you see has a similar red end on the one side as the other harness you were just playing with. And then you have your AV cable connections and your power connections. Connect that to the previous harness. Now connect the other side. Now connect the wiring harness to the back of the unit. It'll look similar to the first unit, first harness. Once you have both units hooked up, you would run the first wiring harness through the seat. But for the demonstration purposes, we're leaving it out so that you can see the connectors. On these connectors, you can see where it says LN. You'd have this go. Wow, I was holding the wrong one. On the connectors, you can see it says L out. This is running. To the other harnesses LN and then you connect. You do the same with all of these you're going from the out connections as you see it's written on each one of them to the in connection on the other one. Now just twist the two red wires together and then and then afterward you would tape them off. Then you just have to connect, connect the car adapter to the DC-12 plug on this unit. And now they both have power and they're connected. They turn on.